I'm Suzanne King and I'm a peak performance coach. And I really specialise in taking businesses from where they are to where they want to go and more importantly taking people from where they are to where they want to go to be high achievers. Yeah, so during my time of working with Tony Robbins, I think the best thing that I learned from him was that progress really happens 1% at a time. So it's not about making a massive shift in one moment, it's about doing, getting better every single day 1% of the time. And really uh, what I liked about working with him is who you see on stage is who you actually get in real life. So he's a man of integrity and I think that's phenomenal. He's not about trying to be your guru, but just really standing in his integrity. I'm really excited to be going um, to be attending ARIC because of the lineup. I think there's going to be some phenomenal speakers in that event. You're going to learn things that you probably wouldn't get anywhere else, and what a great way to really fast track your learning. So that's what I'm really excited about. The topic I'm going to be talking to the Super Six about today is really about how do you maintain a standard and when you hit, like I always say when the shizzle hits the fan, when things aren't going to plan, what do you have to do so you can pull yourself out of there and achieve a better result? So the common characteristics I see in successful people is successful people are prepared to invest in themselves as much as they are their skill set and also they have a really great attitude so some of the things that I see is there's no excuses. So they take responsibility for the results they want to achieve, they don't have a sense of entitlement and they're prepared to do things differently than what most people are. They're prepared to take it to the next level and really go for excellence. If you are feeling stuck in your job or your career, the first thing is to actually acknowledge it because I think sometimes we have a tendency to think that being stuck is wrong but in actual fact that's a time to celebrate because usually when you're stuck or you have that feeling of being stuck that means it's time to change so get really excited that it's time to change and then start looking at well what are some other options what are some things that I'm passionate about. So the top tip that I would recommend for time management is really emotional management because there are so many time management tools out there but the thing with those is they're actually external to you. So you know you're trying to follow a system but really the thing that gets in the way of time is your emotions. So think about it a bit like this, have you ever been in a queue where you've had to, I don't know, a minute can feel like an eternity or maybe when you're exercising a minute can feel like an eternity versus when you're doing something that you really love like time just flies by. So what you want to do is start looking at how do you manage your emotions, how do you keep yourself in a peak performance state, and then you'll naturally find that your time management skills will improve also. Yeah.